are you still buying baby food not anymore when you can make your baby food at home with just four ingredients today i bring to you four easiest way you can make a baby food for your children without you thinking where is your next meal coming from if your baby is above six months this is the right food to serve your baby even if it's one year two years even ten years baby can take this puree let's dive on this video first recipe we are going to be making is vegetable pasta puree here is the pasta i will be needing for this recipe you can always find this in any available supermarket over here we have hot water then i will first of all add in a little bit of cooking oil you can as well add in olive oil if you have any then add in the pasta inside the hot water give it a little bit of stir then you have to cover this pasta to cook at least two to three minutes cover that to cook next i will be adding is green beans over here we have the green beans this is one of the best recipe you can always use for your baby puree now i will add in the green beans inside the pasta so the pasta has cooked for three minutes now i will turn in the green beans stir this together and let this go to cook at least two minutes before you can turn off the heat our today hug goes to blessing igwe watching from nigeria i'm so grateful to have you my lady thank you so much for being part of the family three minutes later the pasta is ready all i will do is to check if it's okay for me to turn off the heat when i check i see that the pasta and the green beans is already cooked now i will turn off the heat next is to blend in the pasta and the green beans together blending this is optional you can as well use your blender if you don't have ham misa use your blender to blend the food for me i will be making use of ham misa that is why i'm adding it inside a cup so if you don't have ham misa make use of blender i will just add all the food inside the cup then after doing that i will be blending the food with milk i just add in half a liter of milk then i will just blend the puree together so if you are a breastfeeding mom you can as well use your normal milk and even if you don't want to use your milk you can as well blend like that in the sense that when cooking the puree don't let the water to get dry so leave at least some juice from the food use it to blend the food and it's okay to go i will just serve the food inside a feeding bowl after feeding baby with this puree, it will relax all through the day, it will play and sleep if you want. Even if you are doing anything, it will not even see the chance to disturb you. This food is just so amazing. So this is the work of you feeding your baby with natural puree. You don't need to be thinking where to get baby food to feed your baby, how you going to buy anything baby food. You can just make baby food for them. This is just number one and more healthy and more helpful for every baby. Second puree guys, we are going to be making. Second recipe guys, we are going to be needing millet on this recipe. Millet is not the only recipe we are going to be using for this particular recipe. Other ingredients is going to be on this recipe. So as we go, I will introduce you to all the ingredients. First of all, I will wash the millet with clean water. If you can't find red millet, guys, buy the normal millet you can see from your place. Millet is good for babies, even if it's not red millet make use of the normal millet you see just go to shop and ask them i want to buy millet so that is just it now i'm done washing the red millet this is how it look you have to wash the millet until the water is clean like this so that case you will know that your millet is washed and it's ready for you to use just like this so over here we have a cooking pot I will just add the water inside the pot then cover the water to turn to boil you after cooking the water next i will be adding is the millet i will just add the wash millet inside the pot if you haven't shared the video what are you waiting for this is the right time to give it a share so that you will not miss it out by the time you are going to try the recipe 
next i will be adding is egg we need egg on this recipe then i will add in water that will enable this millet to get cooked then cover that to cook for 15 minutes Next I will be needing guys is rice. We need white rice on this recipe. Over here is one cup of rice. I will turn it inside a bowl. Then wash with clean water. I just add in water. Then I will just rinse the rice before adding it inside the pot of millet. Just wash very very well. And after doing that, rinse out the first water. The second water you can use it to cook the rice so now i will be adding the rice inside the pot of millet take note guys if you are cooking millet first of all you have to make sure that your millet is cooked before adding any other ingredients such as rice make sure that your millet is cooked if your millet is cooked you are going to know if your millet is not cooked you are going to know but first you have to cook your millet if it's cooked it's good to go but if it's half cooked it's not good for you to serve your baby first of all make sure that your millet is 100 percent cooked so now the food is cooked all i will do is to add it inside a blending bowl over here is the bowl i will just add in the rice inside the bowl and blend this together after adding the quantity that i want i will leave the remaining one inside a fridge so you don't blend everything if you know your baby cannot finish that food that particular day then blend in a little bit and leave some of it like that without you blending it just put it inside a cup and cover that inside fridge so i will add in the egg yolk then i will blend this together i did not make use of egg white making this recipe i just make use of only the egg yolk then i blend with in milk and water why i add in water is because cooking the millet the water get dry which is not supposed to be so if you don't want to use milk le don't let your food to get dry during the cooking process don't let the water to get dry it's very important if you don't want to use milk to blend that is 100 percent natural so now i will turn it inside a feeding bowl and now it's ready to feed just like that your puree is ready next recipe this particular recipe is a recipe you can always try for your baby if it's not taking food for your hand if you are feeding your baby is not eating this is the particular recipe you have to try for your baby first trust me after feeding your baby with this recipe is going to be eating any other food you are going to feed his or her first i will be boiling some water after the water has boiled i will add then two egg this particular egg is not going to cook no less than two minutes i will bring it out so over here i will be kneading is potato i just finished cleaning the potato and this is how it look so next is to bring out the egg from the hot water so the egg is cooked for two minutes now i will just bring it out from the hot water you don't have to cook this egg no less than two minutes for this particular recipe just take it out from the hot water so the water now is okay i will just add in the potato then stir a little bit and cover that to cook cooking this potato you don't need to add any other thing no salt just cook like this and let that to cook very very well so here is the egg i will add in cold water to cool the temperature after doing that i will be breaking out the skin of the egg just take out the shell out from the egg this particular recipe as i said if your baby is not eating food make this recipe for your baby is going to eat any other food that comes its way this food helps babies to it helps to open baby's stomach in the sense that if they are not taking food from your hand after eating this the stomach will open for more food so this is the particular recipe you can try for your baby if it's not taking food for your hand so now i will just bring out the egg yolk i'm just making use of only egg yolk so all i will do is to add the two egg yolk inside a clean bowl like this then after doing that i will smash that egg 
together so separate the egg whites make use of only egg yolk you can see how cook the egg yolk looks so i did not cook it that much in just two minutes i bring it up from the hot water so now i will just mash the egg yolk together and after doing that i will keep it outside mash the egg yolk very very well so why i did not add an egg white is because my baby is not above one year plus so it's still under one year so if your baby is that kind one and a half years you can as well make use of egg white and egg yolk is good to go so now the potato is cooked i will just pour it inside a cup that is the blending cup i will be using to blend the food i will just pour all the food inside the cup so the potato cook 100% so you have to make sure that the potato is cooked before you blend this particular recipe you don't need to add in milk during the blending process just blend natural don't add any milk just blend natural and feed your baby now i will be adding the egg yolk then take my spoon and mix this two together just like this your baby food is ready trust me this particular recipe is number one it goes so amazing for the kids any kids you give this baby food he will love it a lot so if you're now it's ready for them to enjoy just like this your puree is ready next recipe next recipe we are going to be making is fish potato carrot puree first thing i'll be doing is to cook hot water so before that i will add in two cup of water inside a clean pot then doing that i will cover that to turn to where you let us know where you are watching from so that we can send you hug in our next video and always try to share our post it will help us a lot now the water has turned to where you what i will do next is to add in wash and clean carrot over here is the carrot i will turn it inside a hot water adding all the carrot then cover that to cook at least two to three minutes before you can add in the next ingredient so next ingredient i will be needing is potato here is the potato i will be needing for this recipe i will just first of all get rid of the skin of the potato that is very important if you are making potato puree for your babies first of all clean the back of the potato don't cook together it will not cook well so just get rid of the skin and get that done for them potato puree is just the best food for your kids kids love potato and even adults eat potato because it's one of the best food for everyone even if you don't have anything to add on it you can as well boil potato like that blend with milk and feed your baby it's just good to go now the carrot has turned to boil you i will be adding the potato and let this both to cook together before that we are going to be kneading fish on this particular recipe over here i have one boneless fish i will be adding this fish i make use of tilapia fish you can as well use any other fish and cover this pot to cook at least five minutes until everything is cooked and ready to use here is five minutes later i come to check and see it's cooked if you don't have fish you can as well make use of egg yolk if you don't have fish to add for this recipe make use of egg yolk so now the food is done i will just add it inside a cup then blend together with milk i always blend with cow milk for those of us asking where to get the cow milk i believe you can always get this cow milk in any available supermarket around your street for those of us asking where to get this ham misa only nigeria i can send to if you are living other country i can send to you so if you can't afford the blender or you can't see where to get it please use normal blender that you are using to blend your pepper first of all wash it with clean water use it to process the food and it's good to go this is what we have for today i'm super super excited to bring this recipe today please help me by sharing this video i love you all see you in my next one
拜拜。